take a look at the tail of the tape between these two. This is the main event, 32, DeMarquez Johnson taking on the 29-year-old night train, height and reach on the side of Jared Gooden. Let's get this one underway. Let's hand it to the man with the mic, Mr. Cyrus Fields. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening of United Fight League number one, fueled by M3 Energy. Ladies and gentlemen, these bouts are conducted under the authority of the Arizona Boxing and MMA Commission, Executive Director Danny A. Vela and Chairman Scott Fletcher. And from the Bell Bay Park in Mesa, Arizona, the time for talk is over. It's time to knuckle up and throw down three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, the fighter on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six foot tall. Weighing in at 174.2 pounds. His professional record in an impressive 21 victories and eight defeats. Fighting out of Gwinnett, Georgia, I give you Jared Nitrain Gooden. And now as a moment. Standing across the cage and fighting out of the red corner. He said five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 169.8 pounds. His professional record 13 wins and six defeats. Fighting out of Briar Cliff, Georgia. I give you Demon Quest Scrap Iron Jackson. for this, our main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds. <laughs> DeMarquis Johnson almost missed the memo there. DeMarcus Jackson, sorry. Jared Knight trained Gooden. He is in the blue corner. Taking on DeMarquis Scrap Iron Jackson. He is in the red corner. We are set, we are ready. Off we go, main event time here, UFL 1. Oh. Yeah. Look at the size difference, Frank. I said to you about DeMarquez Johnson, he said, I'm a perfect 165er. Jared Gooden could, oh, he's wobbled. He's hurt. Oh, he's hurt back. Night train, looking for the finish. He's on his knees now. I don't know how much power he's going to generate. He picks a foot up, though. Let's see if he lifts a knee. He's going to have power. There he is. See how that knee just came up? Shall now he's leg. dangerous. Now he can, if he frames that left hand, both legs are up. Now he just cut across with outside shin. Now that's bad. Yeah, this is a strong start though from Night Train Jared Gooden. Yeah, good man, first was on his knees, he landed a great shot, dropped Jackson at him on the you know, wobble of the street. Less than a minute gone already in this main event of UFO 1. DeMarco Great Johnson stand up to his wrist feet. control. Beautiful. Wow. Superb technical get up there from DeMarco. And then looking for the takedown himself. And he get that across the hip. Yep, there he goes. What a recovery here from DeMarco Jackson. Great mental composure. Made a mistake there, though. On the top, he did not fight for the underhook. So it allowed Gooden to get his underhook so he could rotate his shoulder forward. He was able to get his palm down and his hips in the right direction to get to his feet. The good thing, though, is for Jackson, is he's had moments now to recover a little bit here from getting rocked with. He's felt the power of Gooden. He's oh, he got the result. Beautiful right hand left hook. He liked it so much, he came back for it. Marquez Jackson, gonna respect the power of Night Train Gooden though. Already tasted it, wobbled him over again. Low hands there from a Night Train. He's trying to bait him in, Frank. Nice. Yes, by keeping the hands low, your opponent might throw the strikes to the head. You kind of get an idea where he's gonna go. Looks like he's trying to pull off of the other side of it and land his own shot. Nice right hand there from the Marquez. Two minutes, 
40 seconds left in this first round of the main event. Nice. He's really good at chaining his takedowns together, Frank, from these singles. It's out the great, even though there wasn't a certain hand. Before, great job of pulling that hand out. He just needs to use his left arm to get into the... Oh, there he goes. Left arm to control the left side there, hip or underhook. Grab that wrist so he can't get up and pull the knee out. Now he's just using his legs to cover it. That being said, good needs to frame right now. See how there's no frame in between them? A little bit with his right hand now. He's framing. Wasn't a great frame, and that's why he got put right through his butt. Dunk the underhook. And mount. Give it up, mount now. now. Great reaction there from DeMarco. As soon as that opportunity was there, slid the hips across. That's exactly what he needed. He was stunned early in this fight. Looked like it was going to be a quick finish. Has been able to build himself back up safely. And now is in a controlling position where he can also try to now recover mentally and physically, but try to diminish Gooden's abilities here. Way on him. Get him tired. Get some blood pumping in those muscles. Get his heart rate going. And we're talking about the pedigree of people that he's training with. You've got Michael Johnson, Demarcus Jackson has in his corner. You think about the round he's going to be or will have had with the likes of Michael Chandler, people like that. He's had some very ugly days in the gym, I'm sure. <laughs> where he's been angry and pissed off and walked yeah. to his car, thinking whether he should fight anymore. But he's had those kind of guys that push him to those levels. So now in a fight like this, where early on he was stunned and hurt, most people lose their composure and panic and do something down. He has very slowly rebuilt himself back up and is now taking back control of this fight. On a two fight win streak as well, both by finish. Great win over Miles Hansing at 54 seconds by TKO. That was back in January of 2022. And his last fight, July, beat Joe Vigalotti by second round guillotine choke. A good is using his left hand to hold the wrist. Kind of odd to do that. But also, it's different. It was good to block to keep the hand from being wrapped around the neck, but he should have controlled higher with the bicep. Because he's a strong guy, he was controlling him so far at the wrist. It's still, though, when people do things incorrectly, I guess, it sometimes still throws off a well-trained fighter like Jackson, because you're like, why are you grabbing my wrist from the bottom of this position? I now lift my hand up and it exposes your ribs. But we're not used to seeing it, so sometimes it takes guys a second to identify how to correctly address an improper um, response to your fighting style. Well, round two will happen. One that we didn't think we maybe would have seen. After getting caught, DeMarquez Jackson at the start of that first round. He looks extremely tired, though, Frank, as he went back to his corner. Yes, he does. This was the, this was the first bit. That little left hand clipped the temple, Literally. right? Oh, wow. He was a little leg wobbly. Almost, I mean, those are the type of concussions that you think you're going to almost... guy can get his knee torn. But kept his composure mentally, realized that maybe getting back up to his feet, and even though I say for the most part, close guard is a bad spot to be in in the cage, there was the exception to the rule where it said, well, he needed time to smother uh, good, to not allow good just to give him an onslaught because he was hurt. So basically he used the guard in that position like a boxer would use the clinch. Let me just hold on. I'm not really gonna do much from here. I'm just trying to stop you from doing more damage so that I can recover. Round two underway. DeMarquez Jackson. Oh, oh, did he, he with some heavy leather? Right right yeah, he does. He just got so much power. Oh, nice little check left up there from DeMarquez Jackson in response, but good and coming forward oh, heavy handed. He's also maybe low on his attempts. I expecting Jackson to go and try to change levels. Jackson looks tired. Oh, oh big breaths. Big breaths. That mouth is open. He is mentally very fatigued. Oh. It's because he's panicked. Even though you're not necessarily panicking, you're freaking out that you're losing. And it raises your heart rate. You're going to stop the fight. This is going to be the beginning of the end. Night train. Says coming forward with relentless pressure. Posture. Oh! Oh! oh. Stop. He almost got DQ. That was close. Oh my goodness. Night train is back. Choo choo. <laughs> Say choo choo. Choo choo. We're tonight. <laughs> that stop. That would have. Oh no. Yeah. Could you imagine? 
Let's get this one announced. Let's get you in that cage. This has been a spectacular night and it's finished with a spectacular finish from Jared Gooden. All respect to these fighters. What a night this has been. UFL1 has delivered on every level. Remarkable performances, some true battles between warriors. And then we have topped it up with a main event where back and forth it went in the first round. And then the night train steamed forward, onwards, upwards, and claimed the victory over DeMarquez Jackson. Let's get this one announced, let's make it official. Let's hand it, let's hand it now to Cyrus Face. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Coca stops in at 50 seconds in round two. Your winner, the team oh, Sharon Nitra! Some mental toughness there. Now, at the end of that first round, coming back, what was going through your mind to start the second round? I'm gonna answer you in just a second, but first, I wanna say all glory to God. Like I said, Jesus is Lord. Second, the man behind you, Kevin Davis. Man, he gave me everything. Thank you for being here, coach. Thank you for putting me through this and getting me here. Thank you for everything, coach. I owe that man everything. Uh, yeah, I showed mental toughness to do was tough. When you get on top, yeah, good pressure. Um, man, like, this is just what we do every day, man. I'm just glad and blessed to be out here and do this in front of all you guys. Was it another shot you caught him with that created the fatigue and breakdown you start seeing there that obviously looked like the beginning of the end, the referee gave up on him? Or was it just fatigue from the onslaught you gave him in the first round? Uh, I know, I know it's from the body shots. Coach even been insane before we came in here. That was a game plan even in between, in between rounds. He told me to go to the body. I know that's got him tired, got some got him out. So again, everything to Kelly Davis. Thank you, coach. Phenomenal uh, performance right tonight. Hey, what's next? And to the world's next, baby. I'm getting, I want everything, you know what I mean? Anybody who wants can get it. Like I said, Kelly Davis kills squad. We're coming to take it over, coming to kill everybody. Choo choo, mother. On that, the winner, Jared Gooden. There we have it. Jared Gooden, night train. Steam's on the moves to the next station where he. Will now be in that wing column once again. What a performance that was against. And let's have a look back at this. This is the start of round number one. And then it went on. It was strong stuff here from DeMarquez Jackson, looking like he was in control, had found the route to control that dangerous striker, but this was the end. Oh, and the stomp just came down after the referee had jumped in. What a win that was for DeMarquez, uh, for Jared Gooden, sorry there. And that tops the billing here at UFL1. What a night it has been, ladies and gentlemen. It has seen stars born here, some huge upsets, some comeback victories.